a prayer with Dad and I? Let's see. Not that much. Ugh. Good morning. Sorry, this angle. Um, it's an early morning. Sean just left. Um, and yeah, so officially solo momming. So I am taking it easy. I'm drinking my profi, but this is also time to be getting into routine, getting ready for back to school. <gasps> Good morning. Anyway, so yes, Sean's gone. Solo parenting getting into good routines, doing my profi. I think I'm gonna have today be probably more of a liquid type of day for me. Um, I'm in a stall, I did go ahead and get on the scale and I'm in a stall, but I feel like it's because of just needing to get through it with just diet and probably up my exercise. It's been a super gloomy, rainy week, but I feel like now that like I've gotten Sean out the door, shall I say he's out the door, now it's just like we can just do our own thing and get into our routine. Um, well, it's looking like it's too dark, but I'm ready. Another O2 TD. This is another one of those dresses, in a nice pink color. I just put a jean jacket over it. Uh, I don't even know if you can see my makeup. I'm here to. Makeup. Hair is done. I'm so tired, but we need to get ready to brave. You know, we need to get ready to brave the rain. It is absolutely pouring down rain, but uh, the lab is closed, so there's that. So I'll end up having to do that tomorrow. We're going. I bowling. figure, yep. Since we're here on the base, we might as well do bowling because they have this program called Kids Bowl Free, which I signed the kids up for. So all summer long. Um, they get two games for free. You just pay for shoes. So I figure why not for them to get some energy out that we just go ahead and go bowling. Um, then that way I can also hang around and see if we got some packages and stuff since the post office just opened. I will have the commissary run, but that'll be later today. But again, figured while we're here, might as well. Absolutely soaking wet. Um, it's actually been some time since I've been on here. We went to the bowling, as you guys saw, went home. Um, I just did a little bit of tidying. We ate some lunch and then came back out for me to do the grocery pickup and then get um, my mail because I got an email saying we had packages and this is where I'm at right now. Like a torrential downpour. It was like no rain going into the post office coming out. It's torrential downpour and we're so. Okay, so I haven't vlogged much because obviously, so Sean left. I felt like this has been the easiest deployment TDY transition we've ever done. Um, having stuff pre-made like I showed you guys in that last vlog, having just routines and stuff that we're going through getting set has been really good, but this morning was rough. Dante woke up realizing that Sean was gone and I think he just is at that age like Orion was when he was little with that where they just don't know how to express that basically they're kind of just like sad and different things like eventually we got down to that but he was freaking out running through the house screaming for Sean um, and I was trying to explain that like he was gone and you know it's okay to be sad and like I'm sad too and yeah but we had a day not bad, pretty smooth, but there is a wasp nest right above me in my bedroom in our ceiling. Uh, I called the landlord, which I'm glad I did because I just was like, I just have a feeling I'm not risking this. So I called the landlord, the landlord came, he saw that yes, they are there, went ahead and scheduled for the people to come and like try to fog them out or whatever they're gonna do, but y'all, living here in germany wasps bees whatever have more rights i feel like than i did in america like it's crazy so he needs to get to know me as much as I do. okay i guess where's jade okay. bad idea it's totally bad and moved on it's just you're not the blue ranch hand long ago you helped
um, getting ready to go to these appointments and then get home, cook, and then we'll be going to Bible study. Today is kind of wearing me out a little bit, but tomorrow we were supposed to go to a birthday party, but they moved it to the following weekend because of the weather, which is actually kind of nice because I need just a day. I feel like tomorrow should just kind of like chill and regroup and plan for next week. The fact that I ever thought to have that many appointments and things to do with these kids, I'm telling y'all, I feel like we're done. We're done having kids because I cannot imagine having three and Sean be gone. Just these two alone are such a handful. Like, oh my gosh. But luckily there was one box I feel like meant for me of this orange chicken to make for Bible study because the theme we're doing tonight is Asian food. So I'm gonna get that ready. I'm gonna like woosaw a minute and then we'll have time for worship, for Bible study, for prayer come home and be able to sleep. Good morning. Um, I don't even know the last time I vlogged. Knowing and allowing myself the grace that like it doesn't have to get all done. I don't have to be this boss mom all the time. Like if we just need a chill day, which was yesterday for us of just sitting around doing nothing, then we sit around and do nothing. Yeah. Okay, the flower goes over there with the other flower, be very careful. So we are home, obviously. Um, church was really good, really good sermon. Um, then I went to the grocery store. <sighs> it was so busy. I don't know why I did that to myself to be trying to do a Sunday, thinking that that was gonna be better than Saturday. The weekend's just in general crazy. But it was really cool, because we ended up going to the BX. Um, yeah, you can put that there. I got a toy for the boys, a couple toys, so that they can just kind of be We're kept busy. Yep, yeah. they've been really into like Hot Wheels and things like that lately, so got them a Hot Wheels track and these like building blocks and stuff. And it was cool because when we were leaving the VX, we saw um, actually Sean's old commander's uh, wife. Um, I just love them and their family and so I saw them and it was nice to get to just kind of catch up for a quick minute um, in the fridge and then now we're home and gonna be home and gonna be kind of locked down because the people should come to hopefully get rid of this wasp situation they said anywhere between 8 and 2 p.m. tomorrow so mm -hmm. I figure Let's just be here. I again made good choices. I was so hungry, you guys. I realized I literally haven't eaten today. Like, have not eaten at all today. And so I got some gum when we were at the gas station and I was first gonna be like, oh, well, let's just go to McDonald's or something. And, um, I hear you give that to me. Uh, was like, nope, we're gonna just stick it out because I wasn't smart enough to pack myself my own snack. Get home, and now I'm gonna make myself some food. Good morning. Um, tired. I woke up the one time, I woke up at five, but I didn't get to bed until late, so my eyes and stuff kinda hurt. Like, this is a no makeup day. Um, it's also cold. It's like 40 something degrees. Like, it's just crazy to think that it's, this time last year when we moved here, it was a heat wave and it was like 100 degrees. Now it's like winter, but apparently we're getting ready to heat back up. I just put on a simple just black dress and then just this is another piece that I got um, as part of my little new wardrobe. It is definitely big on me, but I wanted it this way, although I should have probably still done maybe another size smaller. This one I didn't realize I got an extra large and I absolutely probably should have gotten a large and it still would have been oversized, like look at this. But nevertheless, it's really comfy, it's really soft. Um, a lot of the items that you'll see me probably wearing all the time moving forward is from Pink Blush Maternity. I worked with them when I was first pregnant with Orion on my old channel. None of this is sponsored or anything, but I just have always really liked the quality of the stuff that I've gotten. I really like their dresses and things. So knowing that I wanted to get more into that again of 
being in dresses, being comfortable, more feminine, having this sort of modesty where you look nice, but at the same time, um, it's not the like mainstream, it's not the like fashion nova and stuff and leaving nothing to the imagination all the time. I uh, went back to them and I was just perusing and saw that they just had so many just like cute dresses and things and I ordered a lot, but it's been perfect. And I love too that they're a place that even when I was pregnant, the reason why I would always shop with them or get things with them is because their stuff was always perfect for both pregnancy and beyond. Um, no, I am not pregnant. I'm not ex planning to be pregnant, anything like that. But like I said, I just love that their stuff was always really versatile like that. I am just waiting for this person for the wasp. They said that they're coming anytime between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. And so, you know, of course you're like, well, if I'm not ready by eight, watch them be here at eight. If I am ready by eight, they'll come here this afternoon, but I'd rather it be that I'm ready. So like I said, I got dressed and stuff, got my skincare, don't forget your SPF, okay? Um, I'm gonna make my bed. I'm just getting some plant stuff, getting some things tidied up before I head downstairs. Hello, um, it's been a minute since I've been on here. I don't know if I said or not. It's that lovely time of the month, and so no, 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 no. I am struggling. No, Dante, I'm making dinner. I'm making like 20 meals at once right now, trying to get them fed. As you hear, one arguing with me, but real life. So I'm getting like a chicken soup type deal made, mostly for myself. Um, also to use up the broth and stuff that I made from before. No, Dante. I'm making them mac and cheese. Okay, go get your cup. I'm also filming it for TikTok because I was requested to share the recipe, so I'm making um, a little bit of a different version, the original version I wanted to do to upload onto there. Like I said, I'm making myself a really just simple sort of chicken soup using up these frozen chicken wings that we had. These kids, yeah, it's a little bit rough. This is one of the roughest times of the month. I think I have a cyst that is bursting. So I'm just in a lot of pain and discomfort and wanna get this food done so I can get them to bed. You ready for your first day of first grade? Yes. All right, let's go take your picture. Good morning. I thought I was going to get a moment of peace to myself, but everybody coming back and kids waking up determined that was a lie. I wanted to come on here and just be able to give a quick catch up of I feel like the last two weeks or so, um, I apologize that I've been gone. My post to try to update you guys, I try to do as much as possible that I'm not disappearing. Um, but yeah, let's just get into updates so that way we can just continue on with vlogs and it's not like this huge gap of life was missing. Okay, so first and foremost, um, obviously Sean had left and it was just like Murphy's Law. I am deathly allergic to bee stings and stuff and we ended up having a huge like wasp nest and everything in our house right above my bedroom. Uh, I had to call the landlord out. We had pest control come out. And then for some reason when the pest control did their thing, it caused like a swarm to kind of like, they were coming into the bedroom, so the kids bedroom, my bedroom. To the point where I ended up just saying we had to move out of our upstairs so I had to move me and the kids from our upstairs we ended up coming down to our living room and sleeping for a good like week and when I say we I mean the kids were sleeping I got the worst sleep of my life between the couch and then I ended up moving onto the floor to just share their nugget couch that we had put out made beds um, 
every day it was just the anxiety of just are there any bees are there any wasps here so after a few days then my landlord ended up coming back ended up going and doing the rest of the removal process and then um, I waited a couple days just to make sure that we had no more entering before I moved us back upstairs we are in a heat wave here in Europe um, so in the midst of our heat wave that's just been miserable um, on the plus side though I was also just involved I was doing different things with church and church group but then the big whammy was I got sick and I got sick fast and I think it was just so much stress and anxiety and just lack of sleep obviously I'm only three months post-op that my body crashed you guys I thought I was gonna have to go to the ER um, but it was stressful even for that because I'm like well I don't have anybody to like watch my kids per se and you know that wouldn't be good so I just was trying to like stick it out trying to get through things I was testing myself for um, COVID because that's how bad it hit and I had PTSD from how much I got it when I was in Italy so thankfully I did not have it but I got the flu like really bad and I just was really sick but I was still having to function an adult and still have to take care of my kids because I'm solo parenting so I'm still having to get them fed them dressed them you know nurtured and cared for um, they had soccer camps so I was still having to like go and take them to soccer camps and like I said it was just brutal between the heat I was having um, a bad fever it was it was a mess um, Sean did return it was also time to get ready for school so we're at back to school week right now that you guys saw the little clip of Orion and his first day um, I'm still have residual cough and things that I'm getting over from the sickness but feeling better now my house is absolutely positively destroyed between um, not being able to tidy the same way that I normally would and with my husband being back it's just there's a lot that I have to do um, I want to end this though on a positive note of just this quick catch-up of kind of just like boom 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 what's been happening um, I am in Wonderland so anybody who is a weight loss person if you've done weight loss surgery then if you know you know but Wonderland meaning that I am out of the 200s and um, it's really exciting so I met my goal my goal was to get back to Wonderland by the time I was three months post-op I've hit it and so now it just feels really glorious because um, I call the weight that is going to be lost from here on out just like my bonus pounds like that was my only goal you guys was I just wanted to get back to Wonderland and everything from this is going to just be bonus and it's just a cherry an extra cherry on top um, not putting too much more pressure on myself I would say if I had to quantify a number um, that maybe 20 more pounds um, would be would suffice as like my ultimate goal and if I hit it obviously that's fantastic if I don't it's okay too but I don't see why not um, by the time I reach my six months and stuff post like within my first year right now of my revision I don't see why I wouldn't lose another 20 pounds obviously anything plus 20 is just really just oh my goodness I, I can't even fathom um, I need to make my appointment actually for my three month post op which reminds me uh, that too we've had a lot of appointments I had a lot of doctor's appointments uh, just of kids well visits uh, Dante has sprouted up so much um, the other reason I haven't filmed as much vlogs and I am just kind of playing around with content and things that I'm going to be making for you guys is because we are in the midst of sort of like potty training and so Dante's running around the house a lot you know in his pull up and things and that's just not appropriate for the internet these days so yeah and obviously I'm a stay at home mom my kids come first I just want to say first and foremost thank you so much for um this channel has reached over 3,000 subscribers like and the amount of support and stuff that I've been getting is just 
incredible and I appreciate you guys so much and I'm again I am not leaving or anything of the sort I'm just kind of tweaking some stuff maybe gonna do some um, more recipes or maybe try to do some like I don't know if you guys want to sit down or maybe get ready with me I'm gonna try to do my vlogs and stuff as well but like I said it's just hard right now because until we're sort of out of this potty training um, depending on how long I can get Dante to keep pants on for would depend on how much I'm able to pick up the cameras. Anyways, thank you guys again. Sorry for this quick update, but now we will resume content uh, and you guys are all caught up on life.